Hey everyone, it's a panda here back with another tutorial for you guys. Today I will be showing you how to use the Sims 4 package editor and I think it is the best way to manage all your CC package files and possibly to help reduce a lag because this was very popular for Sims 3 and like I mentioned it was used for compressing files and to seriously reduce the lag in game for Sims 3. So I'm assuming all the functions are still the same for Sims 4 as far as the lag but the techniques for using the Sims 4 package editor is still the same functions, still the same concept, so pretty much everything is still the same. It's just the Sims 4 version. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys want to learn how to use this, stay tuned! So of course the first thing you're going to need is the program itself and you're going to want to go hit up this website and get the program. Um, I would say download from either of the first two options under the downloads. Um, this one I'm assuming is just the program and then the zip file has all these files that comes with the program. So I went ahead and download the zip file just cause I don't know I like it better. <laughs> and anything below that don't even worry about it. it's just the previous versions and once you download it's gonna look like this and you're gonna need some sort of program to extract the zip file if you are planning to use the or if you're planning to download the zip file and of course the most commonly used program is WinRAR and of course it is free that's always the best <laughs> um, go ahead and extract so this is pretty much what it looks like in here and this is the program that you will be needing and that I went ahead and moved onto my desktop and of course I changed the name, it's just my OCD habits, I have to change the name. And once you open, voila, it looks exactly the same as the Sims 3 version, right? Of course. Alright, so I'm going to make a little smaller and uh, yeah, so we're going to be using only this portion of the screen. I'm not familiar with all the buttons on top. I'm only going to show you the buttons I'm used to using. And also, I forgot to mention, FYI, this is just my way of doing things. Um, other people might do it differently. This is just my preference on using this program. All right. So of course you're going to want to locate all your custom content and mine is going to be here and disregard the folder name. It has nothing to do with the actual Sims 4 folder and the electronic arts folder. This is just something separate, completely separate. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you how to do hair, just you know, for an example. So you have all these package files, right? I'm going to go ahead and arrange my size because I do have one already done that I did a while back. But you have all these hair files and once you use the Sims 4 package editor program, you're just going to have this one inky dinky little manageable file and you can tell the size is really big because it pretty much is pretty much compress everything here into this one file. All right, so you're going to want to come into the Sims 4 package editor and you're going to go ahead and right click or actually you're going to go ahead and do file new, a completely new nothing on here. I don't know why, but you saw at first when I right click, nothing was highlightable, nothing was selectable. So you must start a new page. So now you're going to want to import not from file, not from package, but you want to import as a DBC. And then we're going to go ahead and locate the folder that you want to compress all your package file. And we're going to do all I'm going to do here. And what you want to do is select everything you want to compress. So I'm not going to compress this. This is the one I had compressed before. But I'm going to select all these here. And then you're going to open. And then right away, a new window should pop up asking you to save as. So you're going to want to set a name for it. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do hair test. And then what it's going to do is pretty much it's going to start compressing all the hair into one file. And let me just say this, it's going to take a while. The more package file you have, the longer it's going to take. So you got to have patience with this. You know, go do something else while this loads because I would say it'll probably take about a good five minutes for 
my computer at least with all these package files if you have a slower computer it's going to take an even longer time and my laptop is not top of the line so it does take a while and you know just give it some time even when after you save it and you know it's not it doesn't look like it's responding trust me it is even though if it says not responding it's running in the background just you know don't touch it let it load and I will pick back up when it is done all right so now that is done it should look like this um, you know all these mumble jumble gibberish that you're not gonna know what it is but this is pretty much the end result once you know it is done loading importing and all that good stuff and then you're gonna have the file that it did compress everything into which we named the hair test and then you know once you have all that done if you want to go ahead and use this, use the sims 4 mod manager and I actually did a tutorial on how to use this so I'll go ahead and link that for you if you guys want to check that out later but pretty much as you can see here I already categorized compressed everything I had uh, so if you want to add this here locate the file I already had it preloaded so you're gonna go ahead and click this and open and then we're gonna put it into hair so once you add the mod give it some time to load work its magic <laughs> and then go ahead and real scroll down and here it is so once you want to use it just go ahead and check it off it will show up here in the sims 4 mods and it will be under hair so voila hair toss it automatically pops in there and if you want to remove it go ahead and remove it but of course you want to keep it in there but it will automatically disappear from the mods folder so as you can see I already did a whole bunch where I did in fact compress all my hair and makeup and as far as objects and you know my clothing I haven't had a chance to do that yet but I will in the future but it, as you can see it is so much more easier to manage and see it all categorized all into one file rather having you know this big hot mess everywhere because it is a really lot of package files. You download a lot of custom content like I do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much for this. So there was another thing I forgot to mention. There is a catch with the Sims 4 package editor and that is it only allows you to extract from one folder. And what I mean by that is if you're like me, like for my makeup, I like to categorize all my makeups and then eventually clothing. So like, you know, makeup, I have blush, brows, eyeliner, eyeshadow, lips. And then for clothing, I am going to have tops, bottoms, full body, and then shoes. Now, the Sims 4 package editor only allows you to extract from one folder. And what I mean by that is if you want to import uh, as DVC, and just example, you want to do blush and brows compressed into one file. It only allows you to open one folder and it automatically jumps into a new window asking you to save, which means that you're not able to combine the brows with the blush. So what you have to do is you're going to need to create a new folder and you're going to want to open this up. And then going back into your makeup or, you know, clothing, whatever you have categorized, uh, you're going to have to go into blushes and you're going to want to copy the package file you want to compress together into the new folder. And then going back and this time going into browse and you're going to want to copy all the package file you want from browse and paste it into the new folder along with the blushes. That way the Sims 4 package editor can extract and I'm gonna go ahead and locate this uh, the new folder we put everything in so you see we have the brows and the blushes together that way I can combine these two different categories into one file since you know this program does not know how to extract from different files at least you know not that I've heard of or seen anyone done it so, you know, in case you have it categorized and you're probably like wondering, why can't I extract it if it's in separate folders? And that is because you have to have it all under one folder. 
So I hope that all makes sense to you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial very helpful. You know, help you understand the program a little bit more. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I will be more than gladly to help you guys out. And yeah, so like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.